All right, ladies, you've been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all time. I want you to protect yourselves at all time. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Good luck to both of you. All right, folks, here we go. 12 pounds of UFC gold on the line. All right, flyweight title fight is underway. Andrade is in yellow, Shevchenko in the black and gold as befits a champion. Watch Andrade try to circle off to her left to make sure she's away from the left kick of Valentina Shevchenko. We've seen Valentina fold people with the body kicks and then put them to sleep with the high kicks. She's in that classic Muay Thai stance, up on her toes, bouncing, trying to land. Crowd voicing its early support for the champion, Shevchenko. For Andrade, it's going to be very difficult to close the distance and yep. to figure out how to close the distance, whether it's going to be with kicks, whether it's going to be with, uh, look at that, beautiful one, too. So for Andrade, Joe, you know she likes to kind of bulldog you. But if she can't bulldog you, how is she going to win a technical striking battle right. against Valentina Shevchenko. And therein lies the problem. Because when you try to bulldog Valentina, she's such a great counter striker. But if you stay at range, she will just pick you apart. Early takedown for Valentina. Immediate takedown right into side control. And that is the thing with Valentina. She can do it all. Yep. And that was one of the areas that she was happy that people saw Jennifer Maya hold her down so that they have this false sense of her not being able to wrestle. Right. She said, I like them to think they have an advantage, but they don't have any. <laughs> None. She feels like they have no advantage. Yeah. Just as calculated with her words as her actions, but not a great sign for Andrade early getting taken down with relative ease twice. Oh. Let her go and look for the high kick on the break. But you, you, you're dead right, DC. The, the thing is closing the distance. She's running into a buzzsaw. And she's running into one of the most accurate counter strikers in the game. Mm -hmm. And look at her footwork and motion. It's just she's always in position to launch. Oh, look at that. You got to think, Valentina uh, stood for 25 minutes with Amanda Nunes. Yes, twice. Right? Twice. 15 minutes the first time and then 25 the second time. Amazing. So she can stand with anybody. And she can stand with, that's the biggest knockout puncher in the history of the sport in the women's, in women's MMA. Andrade investing in the body here early. You saw that huge body shot that closed the show against Chushkegi in her last time out. And DC, she wanted these clinch situations. You can see Andrade's right eye already is getting black. It's getting blacked up already. Yeah. Valentina's just taking her down at will. She looks so much stronger yes. than her in the clinch. That's one of those areas where I think people underestimate Valentina is her size. She is massive for 125, but she's just a bit too small to go up to 135. But at 125, she's huge. Oh, she's on the chin already. Andrade is in real trouble. Yeah, she's in trouble, but the angles it seems to be a little bit off good. Andrade is trying to stay calm, stay patient. Nice job by the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Andrade to get out for now. 90 seconds of the round. What a start for the champion. My goodness. And it just shows how unpredictable her game is. You know, you, you, you think that she's just going to stand and strike. She clearly had an advantage in her distance and her timing and decides, nope, I'm just going to ragdoll you. Shevchenko mixing up the knees. Nice cutting angle on that one. I love the way Shevchenko is controlling and hiding her right arm. By hiding her right arm, it never allows Andras to turn and circle back into her. If she starts to get shallow on that left side, Andras can start to circle and not be at risk to be put back down on her back. If Andras tries to reach all the way over, Valentina can just bear hug her and put her right back on the mat. Right here. She should just squeeze now. Step and squeeze. And she'll put her right back down. 
There it is. You can't reach back whenever they're hiding that right arm deep. And look how beautifully she steps over with her right leg to pass on the side control. Five takedowns in round one for Shevchenko. We have never seen her wrestle this much, John. She's never been so wrestle focused early in a fight. She knows you like wrestling. I know I love it too, man. Let, let, <laughs> let's see how it, it, it affects Andrade going forward. Because I'm sure Jessica didn't expect that either. I mean, right here you see she grabbed the leg, shoot her head out to the opposite side to put herself in a double leg position, goes up to the body lock, uses her lift in order to put her down. And once again, controlling the seat belt, keeping that arm off to the side, allowing her to get takedowns, shows of her striking. Right here she lands knees to the thighs of Jessica Andrade. Just totally controlled that round. A fantastic start for the champion, Valentina Shevchenko. All right, second round, ladies, let's go, fight. Round two here of a possible five. Shevchenko and Andrade. She's got such a beautiful oh. check hook off the right hand as well. She showed that in the Holly Holm oh, fight. Look at that. Control there. My goodness. Crowd appreciating the volume takedowns and the style points, high amplitude there, six for six. I mean, this is where we thought Andrade would have the advantage by trying to wrestle Valentina Shevchenko, but she's getting beat in this department. I think Valentina is making a point here. And it's what she said coming into this fight. She said, this girl has nothing for me. Yep. And I think she wants to show her that by beating her at the only area where we thought Andrade might have an advantage. It was a big if, but Andrade said to us Thursday, if I can work the clinch, tire her out a little bit, work my takedowns, but nothing. I mean, huge strength discrepancy. I mean, Valentina seems so much bigger and stronger than Jessica Andrade, and I really do believe that it starts with her inability to pursue. She really needs to be pursuing in order to wrestle offensively to land her strikes. She's constantly at range, and when they engage, they engage on Valentina Shevchenko's terms. And what's terrifying here for Andrade is she knows if Valentina doesn't employ this strategy, she's even at more of a disadvantage. Yes. Because she's getting pieced up on the feet. And she could clearly get knocked out. Under three and a half here to go round two. It has been all Shevchenko thus far. And other than Amanda Nunes, she is one of the real one-strike knockout artists in women's MMA. Here we go. This is where Andrade shines at times. Let's see if she can lift like she does so many others to get takedowns here. You saw her try to get that lift off. Shevchenko did a really good job of forcing her leg back to the mat. Wow. Immobile. Nothing. Like That's a big. That's big. That is very discouraging if you're Jessica Andrade. If you're Andrade DC and you go in with a clear strategy and game plan, do you deviate, given the way things have played out? I think she needs to go back to her pressure, her forward pace. Right, look at this. The wrestling is not working. She's dominating her there. She has to change it up. She's got to mix it up. When the, if she gets to the end of the round, she has to go forward and try to attack Valentina. Get Valentina fighting on her heels. Oh, look at this. Crucifix. This is terrible. Just like Chikagia. Same position. And now she'll just start to batter her away, slowly. Just dropping punches. Priscilla Casueta can relate to this treatment in John, Valentina's flyweight debut. John, I was grabbing my paper to try to find her name. But that, I mean, this is exactly what happened to Priscilla. And Valentina oh. is going to beat her up. Yeah, it looks like she opened her up with one of those elbows. Big Dan is Stop looking it. Come very here. closely. As this. it should be. That's it. And still, the UFC flyweight wow. champion. Is there anyone wow. who has anything for her at 125? What Mask. a dominant performance. Here we see the takedown. I mean, just one of many. Literally every time she clinched up and fully committed to a takedown, she was able to achieve it. Now here is the end. She cinches up this crucifix position and just batters her with punches then finally gets to a position where she can elbow. 
and Big Dan had seen enough. This is just horrific over and over and over again. She's slamming elbows and fists into the face of Jessica Andrade. Almost a merciful stoppage yeah. because this fight was just a one-sided beatdown from the start. This woman is fantastic. I mean, she really is something truly special. Je Joe, Andrade wasn't going anywhere. I mean, no. and you know how difficult it is to get to a crucifix position and finish it in a championship fight. Valentina Shevchenko is next level. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko.